guys, Jason Hyam with Cherry Creek Mortgage Company. Welcome this week's job with Jason. Well, it's happened. The forbearance train has arrived, okay? I've been waiting for the last, since COVID hit and the government came out with forbearances to start seeing these come across my desk, and I tell you they have. So I wanna make sure I relay this message to you so you're very careful if you're buying or selling a home, all right? Or maybe you wanna refinance. But here's the deal. I got two stories for you. Number one, I have a client, very well qualified, sold his house, buying another house. He was contingent, so his house is gone. Someone's buying his house. He's buying another house, and that seller didn't order a payoff until about a week before closing, and they said, I can't close. They said they couldn't close because they took a forbearance and didn't know their payoff would be 20 to 30 grand higher than what it was. So that is the danger. If you take a forbearance, the money has to be paid at some point, and sometimes it will not show up on the credit report right away. You'll have to get the payoff from the investor. So if you're selling your house, Make sure you get make sure you get a uh, payoff in the mortgage company that includes the forbearance. All right. Another one I had a client buying a house, never been late on the credit, had 780 credit scores, but they were very tight on their cash to close. Same thing. The realtor did a net sheet, and that net sheet showed a certain number, and they got we got the they got the payoff later on. It was almost eighteen thousand dollars lower, which affected her cash to close on the next one. Okay. One little trick that I saw one servicer do. If you have a current escrow account, you can sometimes request that that escrow balance, sometimes there's six, seven, eight thousand dollars in there, can be applied towards your payoff. Okay, most escrow accounts you do not get if you're selling your home until three or four weeks after your closing. But if you're proactive with your with your lender and you're selling your house, you can call up and say, "I need a payoff. And I would like to apply that escrow balance I currently have. Apply that to my payoff, so the shortage is not as much." Okay. If you have any questions on this, let me know. I just want to make sure if you're buying a house or if you're, if you're buying a house and you have a forbearance or if you're buying a house and that seller had a forbearance, it's just as important. Make sure we're checking that out. If you have any questions, give me a call, 281-882-8888.